Hey, this is my Genoni, and here's my comic pool list for April 12th, I think it is, 2017. It's a rather short list, so what I wanted to do is I want to also talk to you about how to be an adult. Now, before you click stop, this is comic related, because I'm sure by now many of you have heard of the controversial uh, X-Men artist, uh, RDN, I think Safe, Safe uh, who was terminated. Uh, from his contract uh, for being an illustrator for X-Men Gold because he put in political uh, messages, so to speak, uh, into the X-Men backgrounds. Now, this is where the being an adult part comes in. If you are hired for a job, you do your job. You don't sneak political messages, political viewpoints, especially if they're controversial, into your work. You know, you do what is required of you. Now, I've seen a lot of comments about this and, you know, some people were, you know, basically trying to defend him by going, well, you know, Marvel's being social justice warrior, what's the difference? Well, the difference here is, like, when Mark Wade goes social justice warrior on the uh, champions, let's say. Marvel is paying Mark Wade to write a story. You know, they have, that. that's their goal, is to tell this social justice uh, story, like with Black Panther and the crew, same thing. They got together, hired people that they felt could tell the story that they want, and, they're, and that's the direction they're going. This guy, Ardian, he was paid to just draw the book and he put in like these uh, numbers and a, a Quran uh, scripture number, which is basically like against everything that the X-Men War is about. Because like, in, I mean, I'm really paraphrasing everything and, and you know, you got to do, do, if you really want to know more, just dig a little bit and you'll find it everywhere. But basically, what the gist is what's going on is Indonesia, they have a, um, a Chinese guy who is a, a Christian who won an election. And the Muslims in Indonesia are in an uproar, or a large number of Muslims are in an uproar because he is a Christian who's now leading them. And a lot of, and what he was referencing was they had a, a demonstration and he was referencing the date of the demonstra public demonstration to oust this guy who was legally elected. And other, the, mess the Kram message was basically something to the effect of, uh, if you're Muslim, do not be ruled by a non-Muslim. You know, like, for an example, do not, it is not right to be ruled by a, a Christian or a Jewish person. Which, if you look at the X-Men, it's, you know, it's... It's about tolerance. It's about accepting. It's about, you know, looking at somebody who's different than you and they're still human. You know, it's not about this separate separation. And what the couple of things that for me at least stood out was, you know, first of all, the writer is Jewish. So it was like a slap, backhanded slap to him. And two, there's like a picture of Kitty Pride facing a crowd. And you can see the numbers everywhere, and in the like in the where Kitty Pride's facing, there's a building, and in the building it says Jew, Ori, you know. So it's like, how can you make it more obvious what you're doing? You know, you're planting this, you know, I'll just call it hateful messages. And you know, he was like, well, my career's over now at Marvel, and. Uh, all I was trying to... Oh, I'm sorry, not at Marvel. His career is done, you know, basically. Uh, it's going to be a long time before somebody will take a chance on this guy again. Because, you, I mean, you don't know what he's going to do. He's a loose cannon. But anyways, he was like, well, you know, uh, I was just trying to spread love. And, you know, I'm like, no, that's not love. You are systematically targeting a group of people and spreading a hateful message. And he got exactly what he deserved. You know, it's like uh, he's still because of the schedule of the books. There's still gonna be a couple issues with him 
you know, with him as the artist because those are already to the printer. But once that is done, every they have new artists already to cover the book, which I'm glad because again, it's you know, I don't care what the message is, you know, the fact, especially in today's political climate, you know, the last thing you want to do is put in your own two cents and incite anger in people. You know, that is the surefire way of getting fired. And in this, like I said, in this case, it's not like, for an example, you, you were mad at, a, you're working at McDonald's and you're mad at somebody and you threw a you know, chocolate shake at him and then you get fired. No, this is, you know, in that case, you can pretty much go anywhere. You can still get hired. Even if it's on video, you can still get hired. This guy, his name was plastered all over the internet, all over Reddit, and by the internet I mean the news sites, and the, at least the comic news sites. You know, Marvel knows, DC knows, Dynamite, Valiant, uh, Image, you know, the list goes on. And what company is going to take this guy knowing this is what he did at Marvel, the bi- you know, the biggest comic company. His first issue at Marvel, you know, uh, the, uh, the, I mean, I know there's the gold that, actually, wait, the gold, uh, the prime issue, not including the prime issue, but that gold number one, it's like, you, you've just, you know, screwed yourself royally. And, um, so just let that, let th- everybody, let's look at the positive from this. Lesson learned. Everybody, don't, when you get the big break, don't screw it up. That's the message. But anyway, so let's look at the comics. We got, we have Justice League number four, Action Comics number 977, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern Corps number 18, Detective 954, and Scooby Apocalypse 12. So as you can see, it's a very light week. Now, uh, there were a couple books that I did not pick up, and it's not because I dropped them. It's because my comic shop was shorted a box, and you know, like there was Suicide Squad, Titans, uh, X Men Blue was in there also. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, very light week. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, if you're, um, let me know what you guys are picking up, what you guys are looking forward to reading the most. Uh, We'll have more stuff later, so until next time.